Okay guys, so welcome back to another one of my videos. Uh, this video is actually going to be another one in the series on my mobile phones. So if you're, it's something that um, you've started watching already, this is going to be another one. So on this video, I'm going to show you how to get from these to that, where it exposes all the gold flashing behind to make it easier for removing of the gold. So I'm going to show you how to get from these boards, which as you can see, have the green masking on them. And we're going to get all the way to these boards, which will expose the gold. So I'm going to show you the chemicals that I use. I'm going to show you the method that I use for doing it myself. This is for the way I do it. And maybe other ways that people do it. This is the way I do it. And I'll um, run through it bit by bit on what I'm going to do. So the next part of the video that we're going to go on to here now is I'm going to show you um the setup of what i'll be using um, because when i'm out doing the next part um i will be wearing a mask so the sound may not be um perfect for you to listen to so just to to make sure that um, i explain it beforehand and just in case that when i'm doing it you can't uh, make out what i'm doing so i'll just do a quick run through on what i plan on doing and then we're going to go from there so guys check it out and i'll see you in a second Okay, so this is the main part of what I'll be using um, to get this all we can see. I'll just try and move a bit of stuff around here to make it easier. The observant ones among you will be wondering what that is, but we'll come to that in a second. So first off, we have the phones, which would, the phone boards, which you would have seen in previous videos. So we have, as you can see there, where I cleaned off the boards from removing the components. If you haven't already watched that video, uh, check it out first maybe. And then come to this video, check out the first in the series or whatever, so you're following along what's happening. So you can see there, there's gold here. So the reason I want to do is try and remove the, the uh, solder mask to see if this is, contains gold underneath them. Um, so some of the boards will be completely gold plated, like I showed you in the other videos there, or the other boards, which I'll grab again. I'll just put them aside. So I just done one a while ago just to um, have one to give you a comparison of what's going to happen in the video. So this is what's the board first. It was something similar to this or here we go, get the exact same one. So this is the type of board. So you can see there was green mask, you have a little bit of gold flashing on it. When I was finished with it, this is what I was left with. I still have more to take off here, but I just done enough to, you can see, so that's gold all the way through, plated or not plated, but flashed or engineered gold. And the same here on this side, you can again see the gold. Uh, and you can see where I didn't, where I was holding it. So that's why that hasn't been removed. Uh, that's where I didn't didn't uh, get the liquid. Didn't work on it. But I just try and remove as much as I can. I can turn it the other way around. Then so this is what I'm going to try the same on a few of these boards. I'm not going to do every board on the video for you because there's hundreds of boards in there. Um, I'm just going to take out a few of them. So the likes of that one, which has a lot of solder and stuff like that left on it, I'm going to put that in and uh, things. So that's the boards I'm going to be working on. Put them aside. So one of the most important things will be I'll be wearing the mask because again of any fumes and stuff my health is more important than any bit of gold that I can get so I expect uh, that's the reason I'll be wearing that so the sound may not be great on the videos so that's why I'm going running through it there uh, at the beginning I will be using a hot plate which I don't have here in front of me because I have the hot plate heating up at the moment so it's just to get the hot plate up to temperature so we're getting ready I use one of these that I leave on top of the hot plate first that is left on top of the hot plate okay so that's I leave that on top to heat up I will put some of this which oh, I don't want to not break something which is just sand okay so for anyone that's looking at it it's just sand that's all that is um, I just put an even layer of sand at the bottom it helps to distribute the heat better on the next part so I'll just remove the sand here and we'll get to, once we remove the sand we're ready to show you the rest okay the next thing I want to show you is the chemical I'll be using to remove that solder mask in Ireland it's called caustic soda in America they call it lye um, so if, you can, if that's the chemical I've used to do it I'll be using a pirate dish so again, this pirate dish will be what will contain the liquid and the pirate dish will sit into this with the sand beneath it so they even heat. So it needs a bit of warmth in the liquid. So this caustic soda will be mixed with water 
Um, you will be using different amounts depending on how you find it works or not. I will also be using gloves in the process um, so that I do it. So that's mainly what I'll be doing there. I think that's about all you need to know there, the chemicals and stuff that I'll be using. As I say, caustic soda is very corrosive. Uh, it can burn, uh, again, there will be fumes of it, so hence the mask. So uh, that's why I try and keep safety. Again, if you haven't checked out the video on the safety that I've done, I'll put a link to it there, uh, where I talk about the safety procedures or precautions I take before I do anything. Um, so I suppose we better go out and uh, get into position uh, in the shed and get get moving on this so you can see how I remove it. Oh, there's one more thing I'll be using that I didn't bring here to show you. It's a toothbrush. So once the liquid has done its work on the solder mask, you just use a toothbrush to brush away the green solder mask from it and you're just left with the gold under the phones, then any of them that contain that. So we'll go out there and we'll get into position and we'll get this going. Okay guys, so I'm out in the uh, shed now at the moment. I have put the sand into the tray and it's getting nice and warm there. So I'm going to turn that down a touch, the heat. Okay, so, and then I place my dish, the Pyrex dish in there and I will add the uh, water to it. So we'll just add the water to that. I'll come back once I have the water in and then we can start adding a bit of the caustic soda to it. And that should keep the dish nice and hot as well. Um, hopefully it doesn't crack, it shouldn't crack, it should go up to 200 and uh, or 300 degrees Celsius. Um, I tried, done this before with a dish and I just wanted to show you again what happens if you don't have the right equipment. So I'm hoping I have the right equipment this time. This was a dish I was using and you can see there how the heat just cracked it even though that was an oven dish and it was made for an oven but it didn't take the heat. So hopefully there shouldn't be an issue there. Um, that, that shouldn't happen and as I said that's the toothbrush just a regular toothbrush that I use and I will also be using this to hold the boards in place so we'll come back once I've added the water to it um, so sorry if there's any noise in the background just at the moment we're in the middle of a storm here in Ireland so um, hopefully the power doesn't go or um, hopefully the noise doesn't get too much outside so we'll come back once I've added the water to this Okay, so as you can see from the steam coming out, we have a bit of hot water there uh, working away now at the moment. Um, it's quite cold in the shed, so that's why we're getting a lot of steam coming out there now at the moment. Um, and in this tub here, I have, will be, I have some water, but I'll be adding some caustic soda to it. So I'll try and just leave it somewhere where you can see it maybe, where I'm doing it, because I want to get my gloves on for this. Um, give me a second, I'll just put my gloves on first. So uh, just talk among yourselves there while you're waiting for me to get my gloves on. So um, let's see, this is the way I do it. I'm not telling anyone to do this. I'm not telling anyone. This is just what what I do as a hobby. Um, so don't be telling, don't be thinking, saying, uh, thinking that this is something you have to do. If you're not familiar with acids, you're not familiar with uh, dealing with this sort of stuff. I'd say this is adults only. This this site is not uh, a kids site or anything like that. This is an adult only site. That um, it's not aimed at kids or anything like that. Especially now with the new regulations on YouTube. This is definitely adult only site. Okay, so we have the gloves on. So. As you can see here, I just have the water and I'm just going to add some caustic soda as I say. I don't really measure it out. I just start with something and see does it work. If, it, if it's not enough, I can add more. So I just use the toothbrush to dissolve it in the water. Well, that seems to have it all dissolved. There's a bit here to put down into it at the top of the glass. So that is it. So once I put this into the water, I'm going to start putting on my mask and stuff like that. So the sound may not be as good. Um, I apologize for that. But as I say, my health is more important than any videos or anything like that.
Okay, so that's the dadded, so I'll put on the mask now. So when I put on the mask, I'll just pause the video there and I'll come back once I have the mask on. Okay guys, so the next step I do is I take the mobile phone board and I just submerge them in there. So I have to throw a few in. And I leave them in there for a while. As you see there, so I just throw a few in. And I leave them in there for a while. So while that's doing that, we just pause the video and we'll come back once it's um, softened it up or whatever. If I need to add more caustic soda to it, I will. And um, we'll check it out in a few minutes and see how this has worked out. Okay guys, so I have it in about um, five minutes now or so. So we're going to start brushing the boards. As you can see there now, as soon as I start brushing, it's removing the the green solder so it's kind of just brushing just like you would your teeth essentially same on the back you can see it all coming off so I'll leave that just soaking in there for a few seconds more. I'm going to pull out another board and see how we're getting on with some of the other boards. Mm -hmm. We can get the toothbrush to take one out. So again, you can see it coming off there already. Just a quick brush. So it exposes more of the gold if there's any. But you can see this board. The gold is here, but the rest of it isn't. It's just a a board underneath so there was only one type of gold, there was only gold in certain spots on it so you can still see the gold on the buttons but there's no gold anywhere else so I'll put that to the side again let's look at this now and see if we've loosened up this here we have so you can see this board had gold all along underneath there and again, the back side was completely gold. So we'll do another one. And then I just might do one or two more here while we're doing it. And see how we're getting on. So again, let's have a look at this one. So again, you can see that it already had the gold flashed here and around, but didn't have anything in the centers. So again, I won't waste my time brushing any more on that because it doesn't have, you can see the colour of the water has gone green from the masking so we'll have a look at this one so again oh, that one only had where the buttons were already exposed just don't want to stay in my hands so we'll go to a different one so again the gold is only where the buttons are exposed. The rest of the board up along here is gold, but nothing else. So, um, as you can see, not every phone is going to be gold flashed completely underneath. So again, we'll take this one. And again, you can see it's just gold flashed at the buttons. So I'm not going to waste my time doing too much cleaning on it. Just brush off what I can. And that's it. Uh, we'll have a look and see if there's any more. So again, this one only has gold flash around the outsides. In the center, nothing. The buttons were gold flashed. The back, again, you can see the gold flashing along here and along here, but nothing in the center. Look at this one maybe we'll leave this soaking in there for a while and see what's underneath that so again another one so as you can see how easy the old masking comes off and it just brushes off once it's got up to the caustic soil it's done its work just brushes off same on the other side just 
these brushes off. So it exposes the gold probably a bit better, but again, there's no, there was no hidden gold underneath that one. Which is a pity. So we'll have a look at this one. See has it started to loosen it out yet? It hasn't. So we'll leave that for a few more minutes. We'll have a look at another board if we can get them up. So again, nothing. And on the back side, no gold hidden under there. And again, where the buttons were. Nothing. So again, it was just the gold flashing on the buttons, which is still there, but nothing else hidden underneath. So we'll just throw another few in. And see if there's anything of value in them. So the likes of that one there again, which has nice gold buttons, but there's anything underneath it. So I just like to do that with all the boards, so it, it, sometimes you can be lucky and you can get one to expose a bit more gold. Uh, a lot of the time you may not, so, but it takes a bit of effort, but I like to do it just to make sure that I'm getting all the gold I can. So there's a few more. Well, we'll have a look again and see if anything has been... Well, it's not in long enough yet to start exposing anything. Still not in, oh, not in long enough, we'll throw that back in. So this is the one we put in a few minutes ago. That's in hasn't worked yet, so we have to leave a few minutes. So I'll pause it for a few minutes. We'll come back and we'll see what that board comes out like. Okay, so I'm just going to finish up a few more boards and then we're going to go back in. So you can see here, this is one that was covered in solder mask and as you can see, this one is pretty nicely gold underneath it, gold flashed. So it's nice when you get a few like that. So again, I'll put that aside. Uh, we'll see if there's anything else ready there now. Uh, we'll see if this one has started to peel off yet. No, that one hasn't started yet, so that will need to be left for another while. Um, same with that one, needs to be left for another while. But I think I've done enough for you to get the idea of how it works. Um, I probably need to add more caustic soda to get these going, because I've done a good few boards there for me, so again, you can see this one. So it's only gold flashed in certain spots. So what I'll probably do is finish up there. And I'll go back in and we'll have a look at the few I've done. Just do a comparison between them and uh, finish up the video. So let's go inside and see what um, we've got so far. Okay, so I've uh, washed off these boards now. Um, washed any of the caustic soda away from them so that we can get a better look at them and I'll show you, just go through a few of them, why, what I've done with a few of them so it just gives you an idea so for instance that one there, as you can see was completely gold plated underneath our gold flash, sorry, I keep saying gold plated, it's not gold plating it's just a gold engineered, very 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 minute layer but if you have enough of them, it'll add up so you can see there by the shine on it that the gold underneath that, so again any of them ones, I'll try and clean off as, all the solder mask if I can same again here on this one you can see again, it's all nice gold thing. The likes of this one, if you look closely, you'll see the gold layer on the outside, but the inside was not, it was just normal, whatever the board was made, like a copper or something. And the same on the back, you can just about see the gold layer on the outside, but inside of the board, there was no gold on it. So um, I just cleaned that one completely off. Most times I won't 
if I don't see it straight away, I won't clean it uh, completely. I'll just leave it like we'd say, for instance, this board. As soon as I seen that there was no gold underneath the mask, I just left it. See, you can see it here in the back again, where I just cleaned it off, just to show you. And you can see it down here. There's no gold there. The gold is only on the buttons on this. So I didn't waste my time cleaning off the whole board. I just um, left it because the gold that's exposed will lift when I go to the next stages. So again, another board, if I can remove it from each other. So there's another board with the gold on it, completely clean, so it exposes all the gold. So you get a lot more from each board. So if I didn't remove that solder mask, all I would have got from that was the buttons that were exposed, we'd say, um, like that, the, the buttons that were just exposed. That's all I would have got off the board. I would have missed out on the rest of the gold that was hidden underneath it. So again, you can see the likes of this board. As the, just the gold buttons. I removed all the solder mask on this to give you a better look. Again, I wouldn't bother usually, but you can see the gold buttons here, but the rest of it had no gold. Anywhere there's gold flashing then that will lift off as it was. But underneath again, all you got was the gold that was exposed already there, so that would have been got anyhow. The rest of it um, underneath here had no gold, so they were already exposed, so it didn't make a difference whether I took that off or didn't take it off. Uh, again, the likes of this one, you can see the gold buttons, but the rest of it underneath that green were not gold, so um, I didn't need to do it, but that's why I stopped kind of just doing bits and pieces of it. It was just more for the video that I'd done more of it, so again, just to give you an idea here. The gold buttons but underneath there was nothing so there was no need to keep going on that one and um, so again you'll find a lot less will be completely gold uh, the 99% um, of them will just be the gold flashing that you already see on the board but I do most of them to be honest after a while I get to know looking at the boards which ones will be more likely to have it and which ones don't have it so um, it speeds up my process now again Sometimes I miss, uh, sometimes I get caught out because I thought this one would have had it. Um, because before boards I had like this had it on it, but this one didn't. Again, you just have the gold flashing here, the gold flashing here, but the rest of the board didn't have it, only the gold buttons which were already exposed. So, all them bits I could already see that gold. I didn't really need to do anything with that, but I thought it had would have had something. This one underneath again, you just have the gold flashing, you can already see, um, and what was underneath it was not any gold underneath it so again it wasn't um, really worth doing anything with but just for the video purposes I carried on cleaning it same with this one so you can see it here the gold buttons is there which were already exposed they had no green over them over the each one then buttons didn't have any green and again there was no green mask over this line of gold here but there was under this and when I took it off again there was no gold under it and the same on the back. So just to kind of give you an idea of I am what what you can what the next stage that I process I go through on the mobile phones on trying to get as much gold as possible out of each board. So that's the next stage is cleaning up the boards to expose any gold flashing that may be hidden by the green solder mask. So again, any of the green solder mask like underneath this, any gold that is under that. I try and expose it um, by using the caustic soda or lye as you call it in America. Um, so that's the process I use guys. So thanks for taking the time and watching the video. Um, and anyone that's um, subscribed to the channel, thanks a lot for subscribing. Hopefully a few more will subscribe and you'll watch a few more of my videos. As I say, make sure you watch the first two videos in the series on this. I think it's two, this might be the third or fourth, I can't remember to be honest how many this is in the series. But I'm sure it's in the description. If you look there now on the title, it'll tell you how many videos are in this series. Uh, check out the other ones. There'll be more coming on this series. There'll be more coming on the rest of the videos I'm doing. Uh, in the new year, as I said already on my previous video, I'll be adding a few different types of things to my channel. It won't be just gold recovery and it won't be just scrap. And there'll be a few other things, so hopefully it might interest people. But again, I'll try and get one video of gold recovery out a week. Uh, if possible and maybe one of the new type the, the other the other things I plan on doing on the channel um, one of them videos maybe once a month and hopefully we'll try and get one live video where we can talk about scrap scrap prices gold recovery uh, any of that sort of stuff in general so if that's something that's interesting you want to get involved on my lives just um, drop me a comment to say that you want to come up on the panels maybe or something like that when we start doing them uh, so we can talk about scrap and what got you into scrap and, and what uh, do you plan to get out of it YouTube just in general stuff like that as well maybe so thanks guys for taking the time thanks for liking thanks for commenting and um, to the next video guys keep on looking for that gold